Welcome to the College Football Week 8 Saturday Slate Breakdown, where we're talking about some big-time matchups this week, some primetime affairs, some really great games on the card this week uh, I'm excited to dive into. Move on to our next game, and it is a Service Academy matchup. Air Force ranked for the first time since 2019. 6-0, with six really impressive wins. Navy coming into this one, a team that has... Uh, driven Cody crazy all season. Um, <laughs> not been the, the best to him throughout the year, but I'm ex- I'm excited for this game. And in typical Service Academy fashion, you have a total of 36 and a half points. That's come down a little bit. Looks like there could be a little bit of rain and wind. Uh, Schwartz, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Any thoughts about this specific matchup? I have lots of thoughts, but no official bets. Uh, I mean. It's a service academy game. I think they are the ultimate funky college football games. Just looking at the numbers, I I want to do the over here. Air Force has one of the best, most efficient offenses in the country by EPA. Navy's defense, fine. Nothing special that's going to actually slow that down. But the pace of play on both of these teams every year with the service academies. And I think this is why, you know, even even as low as the bookies can set the number or the, the sports books can set the numbers, I, I think it's almost never low enough. I mean, I don't have the number, but Service Academy unders are definitely, definitely winners over time. Even though the numbers are always low like this, because as even though the offenses are solid, they just move at such a slow pace. That being said, it's... So, Will, why did you bet the, the under? The Air Force offense is too good for me to officially invest in the under. The, the overall trend is... Just, I know we don't love trends here, but this, this is a strong one. I'm just a little scared to hit the over. As far as the spread... I don't know if the I don't think the pace is going to be fast enough for there to be enough possessions for Air Force to pull, truly pull away. But I think they have enough of an edge against Navy overall that I'm not willing to bet at plus eleven. So I don't know. Maybe if this somehow got to two touchdowns, but it won't. So I'm going to stay away from this one. Watch with a lot of you know anticipation, patriotism, and curiosity. Uh, yeah. So to your point, the under is forty two ten and one since 2005 in service academy games and the actual the over the over did hit in the army navy game last year it was 32 finished with 37 points so that one came home um can't go wrong with betting the under in these games usually but i do like navy to cover as as over double digit dogs at home here um the big issue for navy this season has been their pass defense uh they're 20 they're 88 88th in epa per play allowed through the air but 25th against the run, that's not really much of an issue against Air Force. Air Force passes the ball five times per game. This is the third lowest rate in the country. And now they're without the quarterback for a while after he suffered an injury against Wyoming. Zach Larrier. So I think this is a nice buy low, sell high spot for Navy. Uh, and really, when these met, when these teams play each other, you can almost throw out everything that's happened throughout the season, throughout all the numbers. Like, when service academy matchups take place, it's really just kind of a, a bubble. It's a unique thing, and um, I think Navy is going to, as they always do, be ready for this matchup. And I like Navy at home here. I think this is going to be a, a you know a gross, low scoring, gritty game. But catching over ten points with the home dog here, give me Navy. Cody, are we backing the midshipmen in this spot? Dude, they haunt me. They haunt my dreams. They haunt like every corner I take. I got to check over my shoulder. Just check the Navy. It's, oh my goodness. It's almost as bad as all these times fading Oklahoma as all the times I backed Navy. I can't get a win here. Um, But the issue is, is last year I was on the over. Um, These these totals have just gotten so insanely low. But this year I like the under mainly because of what you said about Air Force. And then when you say you, you like an under, especially at this low of a total, it's just like, okay, well, how, how do you not like Navy in this situation? I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just so scared to back Navy. Um, but, man, is the, 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 obviously they scheme up the same. Air Force is not really going to trick them with any, like, you know, passing here. They're just going to abuse the run on each other. I'm just not seeing, like, much progression. I mean, obviously they're both built to stop what they're what they do. I think I got to go under here. Maybe I'll get a little greedy and see if I can get a 38 somewhere. I highly doubt that. It looks like the highest is 37 right now. Maybe a live 38. I doubt that will come. I think my best bet is just to stay away and keep my very shrewd, small sanity that I have left. But if I had to lean away, it's under in Navy. Yeah, it seems very patriotic to bet the uh, to bet the under in the Service Academy game. So can't go wrong there. Um, let's move on. Schwartz, unless Schwartz, you have any other thoughts on this one? 
No, I'm sitting this one out. Uh, go Army, beat Navy. That's about it. Waiting for December. That'll do it for us. A lot of great matchups on this card. Hope you guys enjoyed this video breakdown. Going to be a lot of fun watching these games. Can't believe it's already week eight, but going to keep it rolling. Uh, we're already going to be talking about conference championship games coming up soon here. And we'll have a lot of postseason coverage as well. So don't worry about that. Like and subscribe. Get notified when all of our videos come up. A lot of great college football content. I'm going to have a midweek video at some point, I think, this week. So stay tuned for that as well. And thank you guys for watching.